Hey, it's Mitchell from Australia. Flat vs Globe has been raging now for the better part of four years. Globe says this, Flat says that. Globe says this, Flat says that. Globe says this, and this is usually where it stops. The problem with these tests are they are all optical tests. As it stands, there is not one physical measurable test to measure the curvature of the Earth. I'd like to introduce the torque the line experiment. Water is level whether it is flat or curved. If the water is curved, then the Earth must be curved. What I propose is sending a strong line across a tidally locked body of water and pulling it tight. Under tension, the line should travel under the bulge of the water in the middle. If under tension the line does not go under the water, then the water is flat. If the water is flat, the earth around it is flat. The fishing line I have chosen is Spectra Braid Line. It is stronger than steel. I have chosen a 50 pound rating with an actual breaking strength of 78 pounds. Its SG is 0.98, which means it's 98% neutrally buoyant. The entire 5 kilometer length weighs only under half a kilo and less than one pound. And its diameter is a third of a millimeter thick. Now plug these values into a sag line calculator to calculate the line, the line sag of any cable or line and every cable will have a sag. This is my first test site, a saltwater lake 2.2 miles across as shown here near maps. Now across 2.2 miles there will be 9.5 inches of bulge. Using the spectral uh, braid and the line sag calculator, the line sag totally out of the water across 2.2 miles is over 4.5 feet. So it won't be suitable to have the line totally out of the water as there is too much sag. But spectra being 98% neutrally buoyant, we can run it across the surface of the water and when it, if it is pulled under, the lift in salt water across 2.2 miles is only a third of a foot or 4.46 inches. The bulge across 2.2 miles being 9.5 inches and the lift being 4.5 inches, there should be a value of 5 inches in the middle to measure under tension if the line does travel under the water. This is my second test site. A tidally locked fresh water res drinking water reservoir. This is part of the canal and that's where the line will approximately go. There's a ladder to attach the line on this side. That first bridge is three quarters of a mile away from the ladder, shown here on near maps. The far bank is 2.77 miles or four and a half kilometers. Shown here near maps. So this test, once again, under tension, there will be line sag. So we will do it floating on top of the water. Across 2.77 miles, the bulge should be 15 inches. So using the spectral line braid and the line sag calculator, the line sag above the water is seven and a half feet. And as I said before, it's too much of a sag to do it totally out of the water. The line lift in fresh water, fresh water being less buoyant than salt water, there's actually less of a line lift, which is only 1.8 inches. So there should be a value of 13 and a half inches in the middle of a bulge to measure and this is a physical measurement that we should be able to do. Submerged line is equal to a curve. No submerged means there's no curve. Now this test is not for the extreme globes or the extreme flat earthers because they are already too far gone. They haven't left themselves an option to say if they are 
proven wrong, that they are wrong. This is for the people in the middle sitting on the fence. They actually want to find out what the earth actually is. They have invested themselves so much that there's no way back. I'm wiped all preconceived notions off the table and I'm ready to come together with open-minded people to solve this problem. Because at the end of the day, we all live in the same place. We all breathe the same air or bleed the same blood. There's no reason why there should be a divide. We should be coming together to sort this issue out. Let's hear from Neil deGrasse Tyson. An objective truth is something that is true whether or not you believe in it. And the methods and tools of science are uniquely conceived to seek out and establish objective truths. And this I'm in referring to the invocation of the scientific method. No one scientific result, result, research result, is true until it is verified by other people's research results using a different experimental method with different wall current from another country. When your competitor says, I think you're wrong, let me show how you're wrong, and they re reproduce your experiment and get the same result. When you have generally the same results emerging, that is a newly discovered objective truth about the natural world. And when you have objective truths, they're not later shown to be false. Mm. That's an objective truth. Whether you love him or hate him, this statement is true. No one experiment on its own will prove whether the Earth is flat or globe. And so we need to come together, fund this experiment. I will do this first test, and then I am going to make this line available to whoever else wants to do this test wherever you are. I am in Australia. It would be great if someone could do it in America, in New Zealand, in South America, wherever you are, this test needs to be repeated and the results need to be compared and verified so we can get an actual objective truth that both globe and flat can agree on. Because at the moment, there is no globe and flat. It's just unknown until there is a physical, measurable test. And this is what I propose. So... After I do my experiment, anyone willing to put their hand up and find a tidally locked body of water, or if you can make it work in a tidal body of water, I'm happy to share the equipment and line, and we'll hopefully get a good outcome.